Life is good all this month at Appalachian Wireless. Get the LG G5 for just one penny with sign-up or renewal of a two-year service agreement. That's almost $100 off the regular price. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. It's boys basketball action time in the 15th region as we head to the Expo for the first round of the boys 15th region tournament. First up on the visitor side of the scoreboard, the 59th district runner-up Shelby Valley and the 57th district champion Johnson Central. The Golden Eagles riding an 11 game win streak heading into today's match. Johnson Central on the attack on offense right from the start as Cole Christ cuts through the defense, takes the contact and finishes the layup. The Wildcats look to answer back as Cody Potter has the ball in the corner. He sizes up the defender, pulls up, and hits the tough jumper. Cody Potter leads Shelby Valley with 14 points. The Eagles show off with some ball movement as they get the ball inside, then kick it back out to Gabe Farrell, who steps into the pass and knocks down the three-pointer. Shelby Valley running the offense, and Tanner Bentley finds a crease. He attacks the basket and gets the floater to drop over the big defender. Speaking of big defenders, here is Leon Mosfi out of Germany protecting the rim as he swats away the Wildcat layup. And the Eagles made it almost impossible for the Wildcats to make the climb back. Upike commit Mason Blair drains the deep shot. And there was just too much Eagle offense in this one as they roll on to the second round with a big win over the Wildcats, 79-43. And in the nightcap of night one of the first round of the boys' 15th region tournament, Lawrence County and Allen Central suited up to take the court. The Bulldogs off to a strong start from distance. Eighth grader Jared Wellman knocks one in, but Allen Central's Ethan Smith-Mills was ready to retaliate with a baseline jumper. And then next offensive possession for the Rebels, senior Allen May finds an opportunity to the rim, and he goes for it. The Rebels and the Bulldogs back and forth lead change after lead change. Senior Timmy Dalton coming in clutch has some fancy moves of his own as the Bulldogs get the basket and pick up the foul. Rebels on the move though, Ethan Smith mills from about two feet beyond the arc. Top of the key, sinks the basket. Rebels go up by two at this point. Now moving into the second quarter, Jared Wellman coming in clutch once more early in the quarter as the Bulldogs gain a small lead but the Rebels were determined to fight back. Back-to-back -back baskets for the Rebels. Ethan Smith-Mills, ball on the rim, it finally drops, and then Allen May from the top of the key. But the young ones were keeping Lawrence County alive in this one. Freshman Alex Ratliff from the pocket as Lawrence County gains a seven-point lead heading into halftime, and they will go on to win it as Allen Central falls in their final game after 44 years, 85-76. to 76.